Hello everyone, I am Asaf Dr. Deepthi Kari, MD, PhD Physiology and your educator for Physiology. Today we will discuss about pancreatic secretion and regulation of its uh, regulation of pancreatic secretion. Now, uh, before starting my class, I would like to inform you all that uh, you can get soft copies of all my classes. For that, you have downloaded the application Vesalius and subscribe and to get the hard copy, you have to order my book that is physiology notes okay you can also join our whatsapp group and the number uh, for the whatsapp group that is 786382668 okay and a link for the whatsapp group that is also given in the description box link for my channel link for sorry link for my application link for my this flip card uh, as well as whatsapp group they all are given in the description box okay now let us start our today's topic that is secretion of pancreatic juice Pancreatic juice mainly contains enzymes and other thing that is bicarbonate. Okay, yesterday only we have discussed. So now, uh, pancreatic enzymes in our last uh, topic, this is uh, we have discussed uh, composition of pancreatic juice so that you can go through and we uh, you can continue this topic. Okay, so pancreatic enzymes are secreted from the acina cells. Okay, these are the acina. Okay, acina cells they have ribosomes or rough endoplasmic reticulum also having ribosomes. So from ribosomes, these enzymes are synthesized and they are stored in the form of secretory vesicles. And from that, they pass to the Golgi apparatus and they get processed and packaged and they are stored in the form of, you can see, secretory granules. These granules, they move towards the luminal surface, you can see here. And these enzymes, they enter in this or in the uh, this <coughs> lumen of the acne, that is by exocytosis, okay. After passing through this duct, you can see here, different ducts that it will drain the secretion will drain into the second part of the duodenum okay now so if you can see here so this secretion uh, pancreatic secretion it passes through intercalated uh, ducts then inter intralobular duct in uh, extralobular duct okay and then it opens into the second part of the duodenum okay all these enzymes are secreted in inactive form and it gets activated by the enzyme enteropeptidase or enterokinase we have discussed that is secreted by the epithelial cells lining of the duodenum. This is proteolytic enzyme. Okay. Now, how this aqueous component of the pancreatic juice is secreted? This aqueous component that is that is produced by the columnar epithelial cells lining the duct. You can see here this one. Hmm? This is also columnar epithelium. Secretion by acina cell. That is this this one. This is isotonic fluid. Okay. It is similar. The tonicity is resembles to plasma. Okay. And the concentration is same sodium potassium chloride bicarbonate okay and acinal fluid and the protein it contains that uh, the secretion is affected by various enzymes uh, sorry various hormones and uh, nervous stimuli okay hormones are cholecystokinin that acts on the acinal cells for the secretion of enzyme fine now the secretion by intralobular duct cell here this is the intralobular duct cell this uh, has higher concentration of potassium ions and bicarbonate ions this are and secretion from the extralobular duct okay that is stimulated by secretin mainly and the secretion is rich in the bicarbonate ion okay now what is the effect of flow rate on the composition of pancreatic juice it is similar to salivary secretion we have discussed enzyme in the pancreatic juice enzymes are secreted by acini bicarbonates are secreted by duct this is the basic thing acini they secrete enzymes and they are under control of cholecystokinin pancreatosine and duct part they secrete bicarbonates okay and that is under the influence of the hormone secreting okay so bicarbonate and water they are secreted mainly by the epithelial cells of the duct and when the flow increases okay when the flow is increases your bicarbonate ion secretion increases why because this bicarbonate ions you can see here extralobular and intralobular ducts they secrete bicarbonate but main ducts this main duct they reabsorb bicarbonate so you can say that less time is provided for reabsorption when the secretion is fast so bicarbonate concentration increases okay this is similar to salivary secretion we have discussed so you can say that at low secretory rate you can see here this is your bicarbonate secretion at low secretory rate the bicarbonate secretion is less and as the secretory rate increases bicarbonate secretion increases Opposite is true for chloride, okay, because bicarbonate are reabsorbed and chloride ions are, they enter, that is chloride shift, okay. So, as the <coughs> secretory rate increases, rate of secretion, your chloride concentration falls. Chloride concentration decreases and bicarbonate concentration increases in the 
fluid. Okay, sodium and potassium concentration, they are almost similar. You can see here, they won't change here. This is sodium, this is potassium. They are similar to the plasma. They are at constant rate. Okay, now how they are secreted? Pancreatic secretion, that is uh, a chemical process. So, it requires oxygen. It is associated with the oxygen consumption. Okay, you can see here, these are the ductal cells. Ductal cells having the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. So, this is required for the secretion. You can see here, this carbonic anhydrase, that is important for this chemical reaction. H2O combines the CO2 to form H2CO3, H plus and HCO3 minus ion. This HCO3 minus ions are secreted here. Okay, so this is the mechanism of action of secretion. Now, tonicity of the pancreatic juice, you can see here, this is isotonic. Means, osmolarity is same. It is not the fluid constituent. Okay, osmolarity is same. That is known as isotonic. Isotonic means osmolarity is same. Another terminology is isoosmotic. Isoosmotic means constituents are same. Here constituents are not same, only osmolarity is same. Means when the flow rate is low, you can say that sodium and chloride ions are there. But flow rate is high, sodium and bicarbonate ions are present, increased. Okay. Now how the pancreatic secretion is regulated? Mainly by neural and hormonal mechanism. Neural that is your vagus now. And hormonal important are secretin and cholecystokinin. Gastrin also play an important role. Now phases of gastric uh, pancreatic secretion. First is cephalic phase and gastric phase. Here the same thing. Nervous signals are there. Vagus nerve endings are there. Same nervous signals. They increase gastric secretion. They increase salivary secretion. That also increases pancreatic secretion. Here the secretion is having moderate amount of enzymes. 20% of total secretion of the pancreatic enzymes that is after meal. But this little secretion, little of the secretion flows immediately through the pancreatic duct into the intestine because only small amount of water and electrolytes are secreted along with this enzymes. Okay. Then during gastric phase also nervous stimuli are there, but this is also responsible for only 5 to 10 percent of pancreatic enzyme secretion. Okay. And uh, intestinal phase, this is the main phase where uh, gastric secretion is there. It is in response to secretin. Okay, uh, secretin was the first hormone that was discovered by Bellis and Starling. And this uh, Starling, okay, this uh, increases secretion of bicarbonate rich pancreatic juice. Okay, and that is to neutralize the acidity of acidity of the chyme. Chyme that is food plus gastric secretion because gastric secretion is highly acidic so this acidity is neutralized by bicarbonate rich secretion okay so secretin let us discuss something about secretin you can see here secretin is a polypeptide having 27 amino acid molecular weight of secretin that is uh, about 3400 secreted by s cells of the uh, mucosa of the duodenum and jejunum what is the stimulus for secretion when acidic time is there in the duodenum Acidic chyme, the pH is 4.5 to 5. When it enters in the duodenum, this assays the starting secretion of the secretin. Okay, and this secretin increases bicarbonate, so it neutralizes the acidity. Fine. Now, secretin mechanism that is important because the uh, secretion of secretin is there when pH falls. There is copious secretion of bicarbonate, and this is to maintain pH. Okay, and this effect is what is the mechanism of action of secretin that is by uh, cyclic AMP second messenger system. Okay, now this also stimulates bile secretion. Secretion uh, other functions of secretin. Secretin one that is bicarbonate rich secretion. Other functions are it also stimulates bile secretion. Also potentiates the effect of cholecystokinin pancreatosamine, and also causes contraction of pyloric sphincter. Pyloric sphincter is here at the pylorus part. So, what happens when this is contracted? It prevents reflux of duodenal content into the stomach. This contents will not go back into the stomach. Okay. And other uh, actions are this we have already discussed. It protects the intestinal mucosa by acid from acid chyme. Okay. Provides required pH for the activation of pancreatic enzyme. Gastric enzymes are active. Uh, gastric enzyme, pepsin and all, they are active at acidic pH. Okay. But pancreatic enzymes, they are active as alkali at alkaline pH. So, alkaline pH is by secretin. Okay. Also stimulates, we have discussed, pile secretion potentiates the effect of uh, cholecystokinin and also delays gastric emptying. Okay. Now, so this is the mechanism regulation of secretin secretion. You can see when uh, there is acid secretion, acid in the duodenum that increases secretin secretion and when the pH becomes alkaline, 
then there is inhibition of the secretion of secretin okay next is cholecystokinin in pancreatozymic this is also polypeptide having 33 amino acid initially it was found that cholecystokinin and pancreatozymin these are two different uh, hormones but now it is say, said that this is one hormone cholecystokinin pancreatozymin okay it has 33 amino acid as we have discussed okay and <coughs> five terminal amino acids are similar to gastrin terminal 5 are similar to gastrin and it is produced by granular mucosa of the small intestine uh, that is duodenum and jejunum hmm? now uh, what is the <coughs> huh, the cholecystokinin name itself suggests that cholecystokinin that is it con causes contraction of gall gallbladder okay and second is pancreatozymin means pancreatic secretion zymin means enzyme rich secretion the name itself suggests Okay, cholecystokinin means contraction of gallbladder, pancreatozymin means uh, zymogen granules uh, through which rich enzyme secretion is there. And the effect is mediated by phospholipase C. I'll show you the effect of all uh, this. You can see here, this is the diagram. You can see cholecystokinin, the action is through, uh, this action is through phospholipase C here. Okay, secreted action that is by cyclic AMP we have already discussed. Okay, now. Let us discuss huh. other actions uh, of uh, cholecystokinin. That is, it causes, as we have discussed, contraction of gallbladder, potentiates the effect of uh, secretin to produce more alkaline pancreatic, pancreatic secretion, increase secretion of enterokinase, which is required for the uh, for, for the activation of all the <coughs> pancreatic enzymes. It also has tropic trophic effect on the pancreas causes growth growth of the pancreas and it is also found in the neurons of the brain and that is involved in the food intake and uh, related to the production related to the anxiety and analgesia okay this has also positive feedback effect you can see when the product of digestion are there okay like peptides and amino acid in the small intestine they increase cholecystokinin secretion and this cholecystokinin increases bile secretion and pancreatic juice rich in enzyme okay so and then it again stimulates the production of because this enzyme will digest your peptides and amino acids and again the cholecystokinin secretion increases okay so this is the diagram again showing positive feedback mechanism intestinal fatty acid amino acid cckp uh, cckp and secretin secretion and digestion of fat and proteins again stimulate the secretion this we already discussed mechanism factors they increase secretin and uh, cholecystokinin as we have discussed secretin secretion is increased by acid low ph of chyme okay and secretin increases alkaline juice and it neutralizes the acidity okay and cholecystokinin that is secreted due to presence of product of carbohydrate fats and proteins in the small intestine okay uh, now, potentiation of effect of secretin and cholecystokinin. Secretin and cholecystokinin both potentiate the effect of each other. Okay, because of the potentiation of small amount of cholecystokinin and secretin together, they produce significant amount of bicarbonate as well as bicarbonate that is by secretin and enzyme rich secretion. Okay, this one. Now, interaction of nervous and humoral regulation. Nervous regulation, as we have discussed, that is because of vagus stimulation. Vagus has action on the exocrine part as well as endocrine part cells of the uh, pancreas. And vagal activity also increases release of gastrin from pyloric antrum. And this gastrin also is a powerful excitator of acid secretion from gastric glands. And as acid enters in the duodenum, there is increase in the secretin secretion. Fine. Uh, now we'll discuss about some applied aspects. They are disorders of pancreas. One is acute pancreatitis, chronic pancreatitis, cystic fibrosis, and pancreatic tommy. Acute pancreatitis, in the name itself suggests that is acute inflammatory disease of pancreas. And that results in autodization of the pancreatic tissue. Okay? Because all these proteolytic enzymes, they get activated inside the pancreas. Okay? And the patient is having... Uh, inflammation and destruction of the normal pancreatic tissue. Symptoms are abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting and amylase, serum amylase level is increased. Okay. Then chronic pancreatitis here, chronic inflammatory disease of the pancreas and uh, slow destruction of the tissue. And patient has symptoms like diabetes mellitus because islets of Langerhans are destroyed and digestive functions are affected that results in fat in the stool that is known as tetoria and the fat is not absorbed that results in malabsorption because fat is not digested 
or there is cystic fibrosis here uh, in cystic fibrosis there is defect in the chloride channel so this chloride transport is not possible that is because of mutation of transmembrane conductance regulator gene and defect in the that results in defect in the pancreatic enzyme and fat is not digested and absorbed so fat is excreted in the stool okay and that is steatorrhea other is pancreatectomy that is removal of pancreas and that results in deficiency of pancreatic enzymes as well as deficiency or lack of insulin so when the pancrea is removed totally that uh, results uh, in different uh, effects what is the commonest indication for removal of pancreas that is carcinoma of pancreas and it results in diabetes mellitus because of the endocrine deficiency of insulin also uh, defect in the digestive functions fat is not digested and absorbed so fat is excreted okay then the stool is uh, bulky foul smelling pale and greasy because of the presence of fat fecal nitrogen content also increases that is uh, about 4 to 8 grams per day normally it is about 1 gram per day hmm? here this is because of incomplete proteolysis nitrogen content is increased so this is all about uh, applied aspect clinical physiology and this is all about today's topic again i would like to inform you that if you wish to get a uh, soft copy of all my notes you have to download the application vesalius and subscribe and to get hard copy you have to order my book that is physiology notes available on flipkart and amazon you can join us on whatsapp group number is 7863822668 link for joining the whatsapp group that is there in the description box link for the uh, this application link for flipkart and amazon all are given in the description box okay thank you so much if you like my video you can like it you can share with all your friends and you can subscribe our channel thank you